Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and uh, today we are going to talk about how to set up encryption on the emails of office 365 let's get started so uh, to set up encryption in the emails which have been sent out from your office 365 account uh, you will basically need a license let's go to the admin center and here uh, the license which we need for setting up encryption is basically Azure Information Protection Plan 1. Uh, it will help you in setting up the encryption on the email. So let's search for it here. And here you can see the license as well. So you basically have to go to the admin center under purchase services you can find it as your information protection premium plan one and uh, you can get this subscription uh, you can opt for a 30 days trial so once you have the trial with you uh, I will not set up on my test tenant here uh, I will just guide you to the steps which we need uh, in order to set up encryption on on an email account so uh, once we have the subscription here uh, we'll go to the active users and once we are in the active users section, uh, you can just select the user and assign them the license, which is the Azure Information Protection, which we just bought the trial one. And once you assign them the license, um, basically to set up encryption, uh, you will have to create a rule as well. This is the basic encryption method which we use here. So uh, for that, you will have to go to Exchange Admin Center. So uh, whenever we assign a license, it takes around uh, 30 minutes for it to propagate the changes and stuff. So uh, you can wait for a few minutes and then come back here or you can just try it right away to see if that has already made a change or not. So you just have to go to Exchange Admin Center, Mail Flow and under Rule, uh, just click on the drop down here and select the second option which says apply office 365 message encryptions and write protection to messages uh, just click on this drop down and uh, try clicking on here to see if you have the templates available right away or not um, if you see the templates that's fine if you don't see the templates here uh, you will have to go back to the admin center here and home page here and search for RMS and select uh, this option which is Microsoft Azure Information Protection uh, we just have to turn it on if it is not on or activated so uh, let's click on the link here and it should redirect you to the page where it so, uh, shows you the status of it and here you can see right uh, it is activated on my tenant uh, if it is not on your tenant you will see an activate button here where we see deactivate and once you activate it uh, try again after 30 minutes and check uh, if you see that uh, templates here so uh, once we have the template here we can just select encrypt option to encrypt the emails uh, which are going out and uh, if you want do not forward option you can select that as well that will basically uh, not allow the recipient to change uh, to field or cc or bcc field uh, to the email which is uh, which is sent by you and they will not be able to forward it as well uh, the forward option will be grayed out for them and uh, you can either select either one of them depending on your need uh, and once selected uh, We'll select encrypt here and um, just give it a name and set a condition so uh, basically what we suggest is have a word which you can use in the email so basically if you have a specific word mentioned in the rule itself that uh, if this word has been found on that particular email which I'm sending encrypt it uh, right away without me having to manually select it so uh, under this section you will see the option which says uh, the subject or body includes so either you can select uh, the 
subject or body or you can just select the subject include any of these words or if it or if it is a text uh, you can select this as well text pattern or a sentence and stuff but if it is only a word you can select this so what we do is we select this and we add words like confidential or encrypt like that you can use any word which you want once you add the word click on the plus sign to save them and then click on ok once you have done that you can hit save here as well once done you can go back to your outlook and uh, when you go ahead and draft a new email and once everything is fine you will see the encrypt button here as well because i had uh, azure information protection already included in the e5 developer licenses so i have it already turned on but yeah this is an example what you will see for the user who has the license assigned and uh, you can just uh, select the recipients add any subject and hit encrypt to encrypt the email right away but if you don't wish to do that if you don't see the button there uh, for some reason you can just add the word in the subject uh, which we just added in the rule basically encrypt or confidential so uh, it should be like in this manner capital or small letter does not affect it so you can either use encrypt uh, what we use is uh, encrypt colon and the subject which we would have normally added uh, in an email and um, then hit send you can either add only encrypt as well that's completely fine but yeah you can use any other word as well with the word or the keyword which we have specified in the rule itself so once then you can send it uh, the recipient will receive a encrypted email and if it is a third party basically a gmail yahoo or a hotmail account uh, they will be asked uh, either to enter their gmail account to verify it or to enter the code which will be sent to their account itself once they enter the code uh, the email will be visible to them and uh, for the outlook user or any other office 365 user uh, if you view the emails on the outlook on the web it will be open like a normal email because uh, you are already signed into that and it automatically syncs uh, and open the emails for you on your outlook desktop client uh, you will receive for, for example if this is an encrypted email right this will be encrypted letters here uh, it will all be encrypted however uh, you will not see anything here as well in your desktop client uh, once you click on it then it will automatically get get your username and password and then show you the email itself but uh, if you don't click it it will not uh, show you the email right away on the right pane in your outlook desktop client so do give it a try guys if you have any question you can let me know as well uh, just do drop it in the comment section as well and uh, please do subscribe as well until then you